he's saying, well, you know, Trump and President Xi are working together. They're working together because they're going to round up all the global pedophiles. And I go, I go, brother, brother, you got lots of people listening to you out there. Uh, now, I'm not one of them, but you got to know this. Mm. That's crazy. Mm. Don't go there. Donald Trump and the Communist Party of China are not working together on a secret plan to catch all the pedophiles. Mm. That's Q crazy stuff. Yeah. He goes, well, well, all right, I don't know all the details like you do, but I got my own sources, and uh, maybe that's not right, but I know the other stuff's right. And it's like, you know what? Right then I said to myself, the prophets better start listening to <laughs> prophets and not to the Q echo chamber among the prophetic, because they're going to embarrass themselves. You know, we already have such exactly. lost credibility. Exactly. It's, 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 this is why the Michael Browns and the other guys, and I try to stand in the gap and talk to the scholarly Christians we have when they talk about the, the crazy Trump prophets. It's like I hold the ground kind of like the middle ground. I say, yeah, well, I'm not crazy, but I'm a Trump prophet, and let's, let's draw the line here and not keep attacking prophets. But we actually open up ourselves to attacks.